All right, guitar folks, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet because we're almost at Thanksgiving, and I know everybody needs a little bit of a break from hearing my voice. Uh, that's all right. So I made a discovery in class today, and, and this, this is... I'm trying not to be too cynical here, but this is what it always seems like. Maybe parents, you understand this story that I'm about to tell. Child, I want to make noise. Teacher, well, let me show you how to make noise. Student, I want to make noise. Teacher, I'll make that noise for you. Student, that sounds really cool. Show me how to do it. Teacher, this is how you make it. Student, but I want to put my finger somewhere else. Teacher, this is where your fingers go to make that noise. Student, but I want to do it this way. Teacher, but that's not how we do it. Student, ah! Teacher, ah! Anybody recognize that? Ah, just a little bit of, little bit of humor for us today. Anyways, uh, things to remember. This thumb, this thumb here, the left thumb, the one that's on the fretboard, it stays behind the neck and it locks into place unless we have to shift up the fretboard. For most of the stuff that we're playing right now, we don't have to shift one lick. So that thumb stays in position. So that first finger goes with first fret, second finger, second fret, and third finger, third fret. And if we have to stretch that fourth finger, that's what it looks like. If you're playing this fret with this finger, uh, wrong. If you're playing it with this finger, uh, wrong. The thumb locks in so that we can go one, two, and three easily without having to look at the frets. Got all that? Hope so. Um, what, what I'm noticing is a bit of this. That way we don't have to look at the fret. We don't have to look at the board. We just move our fingers and they're in position, simplifying the whole playing. All right, so we learned the first part of the C major scale. We came from the top, but uh, I'll show you from the bottom. We start on the second string, first fret, that's C. Third fret is D. And then, since we're going higher, we have to go up to the next string, the first string, is E, first fret F, and third fret G. If we can master those five notes, then we can play Jingle Bells. So I had the kids try this. One, three, open, one, three. Backwards. We have those five notes, we can play lots of songs. Anyhow, that's our, first, our C major pentachord, C, D, E, F, G, that we're going to be working on. We worked on this guy and these guys. On the strings, when we are plucking, the thumb plucks down away from us. But notice I'm not <coughs> reaching underneath and pulling up, I'm going across. We can do a free stroke where we bring it up and uh, allow it to ring and not touch anything, or we can do a, what's called a rest stroke where we pluck it and rest it on the next string. Our other fingers that we're going to use pull in the opposite direction. Our pointer finger they just gently pull up. That, uh, that, that Spanish term, pima, pulgar indice medio anular. We use those in order. We're going to mix up the order a bit, but if we have the first four strings and we go P, I, M, A, we can create some pretty neat music.
notice I'm not pulling up. I'm not snapping the strings. I'm gently, gently pulling across them. If this is the string, my thumb glides across it. My finger pulls back against it gently. The song Circling the Sun, the right hand is simply going to be just doing just that. Those four strings. Rest, rest. so on and so forth you can remind yourself on the, on the previous video we talked about reading the tablature for um, flamenco nino uh, coming back to that thumb the rest stroke this is a rest stroke lean against that string as I keep on coming back to it all done with a free stroke. You could do that with a rest stroke too. Whichever suits you. But the, the key is reading the tablature. Looking at the numbers on the line and the line matching up with the particular string. Uh, if you notice that your child is doing this all the time, you might want to encourage them. Look at the page. Look at the printed out page or the computer screen, however that you're doing it. All right. Um, after break, we'll have uh, we'll we'll be working on our incredible idols. Uh, we've done our headshots. Uh, we'll get those all edited and everything here shortly. We're going to be doing an audition fake audition, but an audition nonetheless. Um, when we get back from break, I'm going to give everybody a song. We're going to have one song that everybody plays. Probably be Jingle Bells. Um, but what we're going to do is, on our last class before Christmas break, I'm going to have them do a blind audition. Everybody's going to pull a number. I'm not going to know who is who. And I'm going to go behind a screen, and I'm going to listen to them each play and give them a score. And we're going we're gonna to try that and, and see if we can have a little bit of excitement, see who might uh, come out on top there and, uh, and who, who's doing really well. Probably be pretty fruitful. Nothing to get nervous about, just a little bit of fun. Anyhow, enough of me talking. Uh, it's up to you guys to get playing. So get in as many minutes as you can over break. Don't let it sit and gather dust. All right. We'll catch all of you later. Uh, have a great time practicing your guitar. 